In this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do automatic mask tracking for simple shapes and masks. So I got this clip on my timeline, and if you ever highlight a clip and head over to the Effect Controls panel, you can always see under the Opacity section. The circle, square, or pen tool to create a mask. So in this case, if I click the four-point polygon mask, it'll create this rectangular mask and I can move it around. And in the case of this tape, it's a pretty simple object. I can simply grab the four corners and mask out the screen because we might want to replace the video on the TV with something else so I can get a pretty good selection. And you can see we've masked out our object, but this video is not a static shot. So as the camera moves, our mask kind of falls out of place, and this would be tedious to go through and track by hand. However, if I just go to the first frame, I click on the mask, Let's make sure we put it where we need to be. For simple moving objects like this didn't move that much. It only moved in a 2D way. It didn't move in a 3D way. A lot of people might not know that you can simply press this play button to track your mask forward. So if I started the first frame, it'll track forward all the way to the end. And this is a really good example clip because it doesn't move around too much. There's nothing kind of coming in the way. It's not changing shape for anything more complicated or much more complicated than this simple 2D movement. That's one you'd want to go to After Effects and maybe use rotoscoping and other tracking tools, which I do have tutorials on. But let's finish. Let's let this tracking bar finish and I'll show you what happens. So once it finishes, you can see in the Effect Controls panel, it's created all these keyframes, one for every single frame and it follows this mask around pretty well without us having to do anything. Now again, it's always, it's gonna depend on your clip. It might not be perfect, but this is an automatic way to track in Premiere. And now if I wanted, I can always click Invert in this case. So Inverted will mask everything but that selection. We've kind of blanked out our TV screen. You also have other options like Mask Feathering that will soften up the edge, or Mask Opacity, or even Mask Expansion. So you do have these slightly fine-tuning options if you need. But now if I grab another clip, let's put this clip on track, two or three, something higher, and we take another clip, put it underneath on track one, you'll see that it shows through because we've created this kind of cutout square, and I can move this clip around, put it wherever I want. So now, whatever's playing on this clip will appear as if it's kind of playing in the TV. There is other things you can do, because the lighting now doesn't match. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily look like it's on the table, so maybe you want to go to the trick color panel and mess with the exposure and contrast a bit, or maybe go to the effects panel and try and add a noise and grain or blend in some more textures on top, just to make it look a bit more like it's actually. On a TV, but you get the basic idea on how to track masks. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, you could try tracking masks of your own. You can subscribe here on YouTube to stay tuned for all my new videos and check out hundreds of other tutorials in the playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.